Hello there, so here's the third part of updated perks we have right now on PTS. They can be changed in the future, so today we are just reviewing their current state. Starting with Learn Wanderer, which is the only reason to not play in teams. Ranks reduced to 1. Takes 2 points, by the way, not 1. The effect has been changed, now we have AP region and defense bonus aka damage resistance and energy resistance based on charisma, on Chuck. <laughs> Here are the results from charisma 2 all the way up to 48 points. I doubt that you would go more charismatic than this. <laughs> on left server we have 30% AP region that will be reached at charisma 15. And as you can see, we'll get 75 points of ballistic and energy resistances. That will not matter at all in case of secret service armor or actually any set that provides us with 200 or maybe 250 points of resistance. Additional plus 75 will be helpful only if you are having a low number by default, like 25 and uh, taking damage 25 plus. In this case, additional 75 or 100 in total would be better than 20% damage reduction. So, it all depends on your resistance without this buff and the amount of damage you are taking. And if you go in power armor, well, additional damage reduction will be always better than additional resistance. As you probably know, Hellcat power armor tanks range ballistic damage better than T65. So T65 has way more damage resistance by default. And at Charisma 48 we are gonna have doubled AP region and way more resistance. But anyhow, you will want to reduce incoming damage rather than have a bigger resistance. So, don't be amazed by this information, looks great on paper, but not in the fight. 60% AP region is not any close to be epic, try company T instead. So, Lone Wanderer gets no from me, please Beth, keep damage reduction as a main feature of this perk, otherwise there is no point to use it. Next perk is uh, Night Eyes, uh, removed requirement for the time of day? I have two questions. First, who's using this perk? Second, why? <laughs> Nights are not dark at all, they used to be dark, right? Uh, will they be darker now? Would be cool, by the way. Then goes Professional Drinker, ranks reduced from 3 to 2. Hmm, okay. Next one, Ricochet also known as Ricochet, ranks reduced from 3 to 1. New effect, uh, now increases deflect chance based on luck. Deflect grants a chance to deflect 100% of the damage of ranged attacks back to the attacker, and reduces the damage you take from the attack by 50%. Deflect chance receives a bonus while wearing heavy armor or power armor, plus 50% multiplier while in power armor the amount of damage reflected is doubled, 200%. Here you have the default number for each amount of luck, and I don't believe you will go beyond 50, so let's stop there. In case of heavy armor or power armor, just multiply deflect chance by 1.5. And as for now, secret service armor doesn't count as heavy, just saying. Well, Ricochet is good to use with vampire weapons, they are bestie besties and should be used together. But this perk is quite good for pacifist runs as well, <laughs> if you wish. I will demonstrate that just in a second. Of course, no one knows how it will go down on the live server, but as for now, Ricochet is a total must have, and here's why. 21 luck in power armor means uh, how much? 25% deflect chance. Okie dokie, let's see how it will work. Hello turret. Oh, you're already dead. Nice. Hello another turret. Show me your strength. Hit me. Die. And what about you? 
Burn, my friend, burn. <laughs> that was funny. Hello, oh, Miligan. Bye bye. Well, probably double damage is too much. The next perk. Bullet shield uh, moved from strength to endurance. Great. Added a fourth rank. Um, okay. New effect. 5% chance per rank to deflect ranged attacks for 6 seconds when firing a heavy weapon. Hmm, is there a cooldown? Oh, how does it work exactly? Let's go testing. Well, to be honest, I did not exactly understand where this 6 seconds cooldown to apply. The only thing I can say is that it just works and heavy gunners got extra perk to stay heavy gunners. Bullet Shield uses ricochet animation when procs, so I assume both perks gonna work together. But the chance to deflect damage would apply separately, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it is just logical this way. Nice! Serian DPT ranks reduced from 3 to 1. New effect now increases evade chance while under 30% life based on luck. Well, well, a wait can happen once every two seconds and uh, cannot happen when over encumbered or while in power armor. Okie dokie! Well, here are the results, and as you can see, Serendipity was utterly nerfed. I'd rather spend 3 points but have 45% chance to avoid damage. Yeah, having luck 54 and only 33% to avoid damage is kinda meh. I tried with fall damage and yeah, it broke in one of three cases. No previous animation and I broke my limbs. Damn. Evasive perk gonna be the last one for today because it has the same effect. Yeah, basically the same effect. And speaking of starched jeans, well, as you can see, rank is reduced to 1 and uh, moved from luck to endurance. And uh, full benefits at rank 1. This is great. So let's talk about evasive. Well, well, well. You gotta be quite agile to get a nice bonus out of this perk. It's clearly better than life version. But anyhow, I think, yeah, there is no combo of evasive and serendipity that gonna pass 45% chance, 45% evade chance. <laughs> if they start additively, I'm not sure how it will work, but uh, yeah, I hope so. Okie dokie, and in the end, I just want to welcome the new member of my channel, Senorito John Calafato. Thank you, dude. The very next video will be about raids, we are getting them and I'm super duper happy. Big thank you for watching, I'll see you later, bye bye bye, bye bye.